I had printed out the uh, statement that Archbishop sent out, but I did not bring it up here. Um, basically, just to inform you all, um, if you haven't already heard, um, Father Pat is not no longer our pastor. Um, he uh, admitted to an instance of sexual abuse of a minor um, in 2013, and um, upon that admission was removed from ministry. So our hearts are broken this morning. Um, I really don't know much more than you do. So um, if anyone needs to talk in any way, um, please come see me. Uh, send me an email, we can meet. Let's say the entrance antiphon. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Amen. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in your unfathomable providence are pleased to send your holy angels to guard us, hear our supplication as we cry to you that we may always be defended by their protection and rejoice eternally in their company. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. The reading from the book of Exodus. Thus says the Lord, see, I am sending an angel before you to guard you on the way and bring you to the place I have prepared. Be attentive to him and heed his voice. Do not rebel against him, for he will not forgive your sin. My authority re resides in him. If you heed his voice and carry out all I tell you, I will be an enemy to your enemies and a foe to your foes. My angel will go before you and bring you to the Amorites, Hittites, Perizzites, Canaanites, Hivites, and Jebusites, and I will wipe them out. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has put angels in charge of you to guard you in all your ways. The Lord has put angels in charge of you to guard you in all your ways. You who dwell in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Lord, the angels in charge of you to guard you in all your ways. For he will rescue you from the snare of the fowler, from the destroying pestilence. With his pinions he will cover you, and under his wings you shall take refuge. The Lord will put his angels in charge of you to guard you in all your ways. His faithfulness is a buckler and a shield. He shall not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that roams in darkness, nor the devastating plague at noon. The Lord has put his angels in charge of you to guard you in all your ways. No evil shall befall you, nor shall affliction come near your tent. For to his angels he has given command about you, that they guard you in all your ways. The Lord has put his angels in charge of you to guard you in all your ways. May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips and may proclaim his gospel worthily and well in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit.
Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Bless the Lord, all you angels, you ministers who do his will. Alleluia, Alleluia. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew glory to you lord the disciples approached jesus and said who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven he called the child over placed it in their midst and said amen i say to you unless you turn and become like children you will not enter the kingdom of heaven whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven and whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me. See that you do not despise one of these little ones, for I say to you that the angels in heaven always look upon the face of my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> Mr. Fulton Sheen once said, whatever happened to sin? At some point in our society, we stopped talking about sin. And when we dropped it, the psychologists picked it up. The sociologists picked it up. And then th everything just became a psychosis. And I think that's one of the greatest dangers that we have now nowadays. Like that uh, famous line from, right? The greatest trick that the devil has done is convincing the world he doesn't exist. We have to recognize that we have spiritual warfare going on. See, the angels are not just cute little ideas that we try to give names to or send on errands or ask for petty favors. The main task, the main charge of the guardian angels, do you know what it is? It's to keep guard over our soul. It's to help us do spiritual battle. Help keep the light of grace alive and burning. To be a companion for us. To always intercede for us. That's the task of the guardian angel. We may not be able to see it, but there is spiritual warfare going on constantly around us between God's chosen angels and the fallen angels. And it's always up to us to try to cooperate as best we can to God's grace to win the battle. But see, that's the providential care of God. What is man that God cares so much that he sent his only son to become one of us, to die and rise for us, and to send his angels to keep guard over us? He's the good father that doesn't leave his children orphans. Even in our darkest hours, even when things seem hopeless and we're despairing or discouraged or in deep, deep sorrow, God promised to be there in the midst of that. He's here with us in the sacrament. He's here with us in our guardian angels. So whenever we are prone to despair or being discouraged, I encourage you, run to the sacraments. Embrace the church. Embrace the faith. Trust that God has a plan, trust that he knows our, and that in the end, the victory will be his, and all will be made right. That is the new heaven, new earth that we look forward to. That is the resurrection that we look forward to. This world is not all there is. There is another world to come, where there will be no suffering, no sin, no sorrow. But in the meantime, 
God promised that we would never be alone. He never promised it would be easy, but he promised he'll be there. So let this day be a reminder for us that in God's providential care and mercy and love and compassion, that he is with us and he has assigned each of us a personal guardian to help us in this faith journey. Trusting in our Heavenly Father, we bring to him our petitions. For the church throughout the world, especially for the Archdiocese of New Orleans, and especially for the parish communities of Saints Peter and Paul and St. Luke, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for all those who uh, are victims of abuse and those who have suffered at the hands uh, of abusers or their families, let us pray to the Lord. For all those who suffer from the effects of racism, uh, that they might be um, given healing by the Lord, and that the hearts of those um, still committed to racism may be converted, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for respect for all life, from the moment of conception until natural death, and that our laws might reflect this respect, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for all those who are alone or anxious, all those who are isolated, that they might receive from us and from the Lord um, the, the loving care that they deserve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all the other prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Heavenly Father, we come before you as your uh, needy and dependent children, asking you for uh, healing, asking you for strength, asking you for grace. We know that you will answer this prayer because it is according to your will, through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the offerings we bring before you as we venerate your holy angels, and graciously grant that under their constant protection we may be delivered from present dangers and brought happily to life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise you without end in your archangels and angels. For the honor we pay the angelic creatures in whom you delight redounds to your own surpassing glory, and by their great dignity and splendor you show how infinitely great you are to be exalted above all things through Christ our Lord. Through him the multitude of angels extols your majesty, and we are united with them in exultant adoration, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, 
Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Gregory, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls and hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel, the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who those sinners hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, 
not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord, to whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. This may not our Lord Jesus Christ. Bring eternal life to us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The communion antiphon. In the presence of the angels, I will praise you, my God. The body of Christ.
I invite all those watching at home to make an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you are already there, I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Permit not that I should ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. As you are pleased to nourish us for eternal life with so great a sacrament, O Lord, direct us by the ministry of angels into the way of salvation and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I do repeat what I said if, you know, you realize I am busy, but... Um, but that doesn't mean you can't talk to me. So um, if you want to talk about everything that's going on, just send me an email and we'll pick a time to meet. Um, obviously, there's a lot of emotions that, are, that should be felt. Um, I think a lot of times we think we shouldn't be angry or we shouldn't be sad or we shouldn't be this or that. Um, but that's actually not true at all um, if it's in response to a, to a proper object, right? So. If you're angry about something you should be angry about, right, then that's a right emotion. Um, I really hope that in, to some degree we are angry. Um, to some degree we are, I really hope that to some degree we do feel betrayed because that means there was a love there um, that um, has been betrayed. You can't be betrayed by someone who's your enemy. So um, I hope we continue to pray uh, for the entire situation, for Father Pat, who by the way, um, did tell me that he's okay, so that's good. Um, but he is going to spend the rest of his life, you know, in repentance for what he's done. And, um, you know, that's whatever form that may take. Um, we pray for him, and we pray for all those who have been affected. I do also want to say, because this was in the Archbishop's statement, and, um, and I think it's important that if anyone knows anything else, uh, any other incidents that need to be um, said, that they do go to the archdiocese about that. Um, because when the truth comes out, it does set you free. Um, and I know Father Pat has been set free by coming forward with this, and um, the truth is always better. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Say, Michael. Prayer for vocations, Lord Jesus Christ. 